Shalom to all my beautiful Hebrews, Shebrews, and Thebrews. My name is Gila Monster, in or out of drag. And you can see that today I am out of drag. Uh, this is my boy look, my everyday makeup look, if you will. This is what I wear when I go to work. This is what I wear when I go on a date. This is what I wear all the time. If you're meeting me out in public, this is probably what I look like. Um, my makeup is a combination of drag techniques that I've learned over the years and products that I've learned over the years, but also just experimentation and seeing what works for me. So I hope that this will encourage you to pick up a makeup brush and try something for yourself. If you're not familiar with me, I invite you to check out gilamonster.com where you can find all the information about me, um, including why I look so beautiful right now. Um, but without further ado, let's get into how I achieve this boy makeup. Enjoy. Okay, let's get started. So I changed my shirt. This is what I would wear when I'm getting ready, just so that if I get any powder or anything on my shirt, it doesn't ruin my outfit for the night. So let's get started with some makeup. I'm freshly shaved. Um, I have some moisturizer on. Um, if you wanna see my skincare routine, I might make a video about that, might not, I don't know. Um, but let's do the makeup. So what I'm gonna start with is some primer. This is from Dior. It's from their Capture Total line, which is their skincare line for mature skin. I, as a 24-year-old cross-dresser, need all the anti-aging I can get. This product is super old and super discontinued. It's like four years discontinued and definitely expired. They call it a multi-perfecting makeup base with sunscreen. The sunscreen is 100% expired. You can tell because it's literally ghost white. But this was one of my favorite products when I worked at Dior to recommend because it really smooths out textured skin and it hydrates dry skin really well. So I put that all over my face, including under my eyes. Um, and this will provide that really smooth base for my application. So in theory, it would also give me that SPF. But of course, as I said, it's definitely expired. So we're getting our SPF somewhere else, which is going to be our foundation or like base product. For my everyday makeup, I don't like to wear a really heavy base. I like to wear something that looks a little bit more like skin. The one I'm currently using is a tinted moisturizer. It's from Smashbox. It's called the Smashbox Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. Um, this is what the tube looks like. It came out earlier this year. Um, and mine is in the shade Light Neutral. Now this does have SPF in it. So if you are looking for an all-in-one product, it's a very nice one. It's a very hydrating formula. So it might not be for those of us with oilier skin, but me with my dry skin, it does definitely work. And I use this with my fingers. I apply it with my fingers rather than a brush. It's just quicker. Uh, you can definitely use a brush if you want. I also use a generous amount, probably more than you're supposed to, but that's me and those are my demons. So just like that between my hand and then apply it all over the face. Now, because we put down that really smoothing primer, this should give us a fairly good finish without a lot of work. Um, don't be afraid of covering your lips because we can definitely fix that later. And I like to press it around like my nose so that it really gets into the pores and looks more like skin, less like, you know, acrylic paint on an orange if that gives you the illusion of what my skin looks like right now. You can see this color is definitely a little bit too dark for me, but that's okay. I actually prefer it rather than having a lighter color than my skin. And if you get under the hair, not an issue, it will come out. Same thing with the brows. Um, so I'm pretty like easy to apply this. Really cute looking like a glowy orb. Bring it down the neck. Okay. So in theory, you could stop right there. But because I'm wearing a mask these days, um, when I'm leaving the house, I have to set this down with powder. Otherwise, it will rub off and all of this will come off on the mask. And that's not the look. So we're going to use a translucent setting powder. It's from a brand called Ben Nye. It's a professional theater brand. It's the same thing that I use for my drag makeup and it doesn't add any color. It's just a translucent setting powder that keeps the makeup in place without adding anything to it. So I depotted mine into this really cute 
uh, just peachy uh, little container woo, from Michaels. And I'm going to use this with a brush. This is the Morphe Jeffree Star powder brush. This is also discontinued for sure. Um, and I'm gonna use my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to take a generous amount, tap off the excess on my brush and press it into my skin. And this essentially wicks away any of the moisture that's left in the product so that all I'm left with is the pigment. So it's gonna really stick to my skin and uh, prolong the wear. Now, you'll also notice that it's mattifying as it goes. So this is where I have the product currently and this is where I don't. So shiny, matte, shiny, matte. Um, and I'm pretty liberal with powder. I know people are like, oh, I don't wanna look like a cake face. I am baking, I'm an easy bake oven. I'm the easy bake oven of drag. I want to look like I have makeup on. Um, it's like if someone's like, I can tell, I can see you have makeup on. I'm like, thank you. I spent a lot of money and time on it. So I want you to be able to tell. You'll notice I didn't put any product on my eyelids. Um, that's a personal preference. Now, a lot of people also use a dedicated concealer underneath the eyes. I find that for my like boy makeup, I'm putting that in quotations because what the hell does that mean? Um, I find that I like to keep my eyelids bare and I find that I like to keep my under eyes the same color as the rest of my skin rather than brightening them up. For drag, I absolutely do brighten. If you've seen my drag makeup, it's almost like an upside down triangle that I do. Um, but for my everyday makeup, I keep it to one color. It also just helps to expedite the product, the, the process, one less product to use. Okay, we're looking pretty hot, but we're also looking a little bit flat. So what we've done is we've evened out all the skin tone um, and mattified it, but now I wanna add some color back in there. And we're gonna do that with bronzer. So I'm gonna use this Elizabeth Arden Forever Bronze uh, Bronzing Powder. <laughs> what a terrible name. In the shade Medium One. So this has like a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. The blush and the highlighter are terrible. That's why I've not really used them at all. But you can see that I've definitely used quite a generous amount of that bronzer. And I'm gonna take it on this Dior uh, number 16 brush. Give it a generous, generous swirl. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw on the number three on my face. So essentially from here, like that. And we're just gonna keep doing that a whole bunch until I get the buildup of color that I am looking for. And essentially, it's the areas of the face that the sun would be most likely to hit. So the forehead, the top of the cheekbones, and uh, just the jaw right here. And then bring it down the neck because anything we do on the face, we gotta bring down to make it look cohesive. Like it's part of the same face and not a Frankenstein situation. So same thing on the other side, forehead, and you'll notice I'm being pretty loose with my movements. This is a very low pigment product, so it's easy to abuse and it's not going to look really crazy. Crazy on my terms, you know, your terms are gonna be a little bit different. Um, okay, looking pretty good. I find this bronzer has like a matte satin finish, so it's not totally flat, which I actually like gives a bit more of a skin-like finish. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit down the bridge of the nose, warm up the complexion, and on my chin. Okay. And then this is my secret. I don't do eyeshadow um, when I'm doing everyday makeup, but I do use the same bronzer that I use on my face on a small Jeffree Star Morphe um, blending brush. JS6 and I'm just gonna swirl that in here and I do this like windshield wind wiper motion in my eyelid eyelid crease and that just gives my eyes a little bit of definition without any like shadow and then right under the rim of the eye I just buff that out and I find that that gives my eyes really nice definition um, without being super obvious that I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Not that like wearing a lot of makeup is a bad thing, like obviously, um, but you know, it's not the right look for every single occasion. I recognize that. Okay, next I wanna warm up the complexion a little bit more and I'm gonna do it with blush. 
Uh, I do blush in a way that's a little bit different from most people. Most people wear blush like on the apples of the cheekbones going back. I wear blush across the nose. Uh, I almost want to look like I am a little kid and I am embarrassed and I am blushing. So I'm going to use this Burberry uh, Misty Blush number no. 8 in Light Glow. This is such an underrated product. Burberry is, in general is such an underrated brand. Um, their blushes are beautiful. If I can open it. There we go. Um, this is, let's see if I can do this without tipping the brush or flashing the mirror. It's a really pretty, like almost lilac color. I know it's not showing up accurately on the screen. Um, it's a peachy lilac color, very unique. And it's really, really soft and easy to use. So I'm using another Jeffree Star Morphe brush. It's the number four. It's a really uh, pretty like um, natural brush that's quite fluffy. So I'm just using that, loading up the brush and I'm gonna swipe that across the center of my nose out towards my cheeks as though I was just coming in from the cold and I have a very natural flush. I find this like gives a very like almost like a boyish like a little kid look. Um, I like it and then I use a little bit kind of on the back of my temples to kind of tie together the color story and a tiny bit on my chin and this is basically like what I do in drag, but very, very um, toned down, if you will. Now, since we have our blush and bronzer on, we got to do a highlight. I like this Laura Geller Life Glows On palette because it has three different colors. So it has this like opalescent um, white, it has a gold, and it has a white with a gold, um, gold pink shift. So this is really versatile and I can wear like whatever I think looks good with that day's outfit. I think I'm gonna go for French Fizz, which is that middle shade right here. It's this golden shade. And I literally use it with my fingers. I tap on the product and then I tap it on just the top of my cheek right here. And you can see that when I turn in the light, it catches the light and it just gives my cheek this like lifted look. Same thing on the other side. I used to be that person that like wore blinding highlight, but now I'm very much into like, oh, is he glowing or is it? Yeah, no, I'm glowing. <laughs> um, down the bridge of my nose, bit on the cupid's bow. Basically, I just want like to look like I have a very soft ethereal glow, but that's just me. Okay, let's turn back to the eyes because we're almost done. You can see it's actually, I know it sounds like a lot of makeup and it looks like a lot of makeup, but the effect is it's a very natural look. The only thing I really do for my eyes, other than that like bronzer in the crease, is I use an eyeliner. I've been doing this since I was 17. It's like my signature thing. It's a gold eyeliner. I think I started doing it because of Cinna in The Hunger Games. Yes, don't judge me. That's what I do. And this is a MAC uh, Eye Coal Pencil in the shade El Dorado from the Brandt Brothers collection, which is extremely old, so you cannot buy this, but I'm sure you can find a bronzy gold shade like that at the drugstore even. Uh, I think Rimmel London used to be the brand that I used in high school, so. Um, and what I do with this is I just line the top of my eyes, and what's nice about a colored liner like this, especially a pale one like gold or uh, silver, is that they're very forgiving. It's not like a black line that you have to be quite precise. I find that the gold is really forgiving, so. I'm just gonna line the top of my eyelid. Almost from the inside corner, along the lash line, to the outer corner. And I don't finish it in a wing because the gold is so light that you really can't see. Um, because I have green eyes, I find that it emphasizes the color. This is the one thing that when people um, ask, like, are you wearing makeup? They're like, oh, well, I can see because of the eyeliner. I'm like, yeah. I'm wearing a lot more than just the eyeliner, but like, I'm happy that you're noticing that. Um, it's like one of the things that has really become my signature. And if you're afraid of eyeliner, truly take like five minutes every night for three weeks and just do it in the mirror. By the end of it, you will be an expert because it's truly about like muscle memory. See like how quickly I do that. And that's after years of doing it. So. 
Um, that's really all I do for my eyes. And then I frame them with some mascara. This is a Lise Watier uh, Eye Opening Vegan Mascara with Black Quinoa. Now, I don't know why they're putting quinoa in mascara these days, but that's what they're doing. This is what the brush looks like, nice and thin. Um, and I give my eyelashes just like a very gentle brush through. I'm not trying to build up volume or curl. I'm really just trying to darken them. So it gives way more definition like that than it does here. And then same thing here. And I don't do the bottom lashes for my everyday makeup because I find that that looks too doll-like and that's not the look that I'm looking for. And then the last thing I'll do before we move on from the face to the lips is gonna be some brow gel. This is from Glossier and it's called Void Brow. It's basically a brow mascara. It's in the shade brown. This is what the brush looks like, a nice thin little spoolie. And with this, it's really fun because it's easy. You just brush it through your brows and it deposits color. And it, because it's a gel, it's gonna give some extra hold. So your brows are less likely to fly all over the place and look unruly when you have this on. And this is one of those products that's just so easy, you can't mess this up. So this brow that's been filled versus that one definitely has a lot more volume to it, but it doesn't look made up. Okay, and the last thing I like to do before I change clothes and head out the door is to put on something on my lips because even though I'm wearing a mask, uh, I still like to feel like if I take off the mask to eat or for whatever reason that I still look decent. Um, so when I'm wearing a mask and I can't wear like a hydrating lip gloss or a lip balm, uh, I'll wear a liquid lipstick. This is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I find these uh, hang on the lips really well. This is in the shade Christmas Cookie. And this is the shade I found that is probably like the closest to my actual lip color. So as I'm putting it on, you can see it's not really adding a lot of color. All it's really doing is it's making my lips look like themselves uh, after the foundation that I had gotten on them. And because this is such a natural color, I'm not too worried about it um, overlining or uh, bleeding out of the lip line because it just looks like I'm wearing no lipstick. And that's the final look. So let me put on uh, my shirt before I go out for the night and I'll be right back. Okay, and this is the final look. I've put on a shirt, I've put on my earrings, and uh, I'm ready to hit the door. So what did we learn today? We learned that I have some expired products and that I uh, cannot leave the house in, uh, in short notice. So <laughs> uh, I hope that you learned something. I hope that this uh, encourages you to explore makeup. Makeup is really for everybody, and if it makes you feel good about yourself, then that's all that matters. You don't need to answer to anybody and your techniques and your products and your uh, preferences are yours. And I love you and I support you. Um, and I'm so grateful that you watched this video. So if you wanna see me do uh, a more glamorous makeup uh, tutorial, perhaps with some glitter, a smoky eye, I am more than happy to do that. And of course, down the line, I plan to be uh, revealing at long last the Gila Monster look about how to uh, to do full drag as Gila Monster. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Gila Monster in or out of drag, and uh, I really appreciate uh, you visiting with me. So have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye.